We're in Southern Utah at the start of Alcatraz, which is a slot canyon uh, that gets pretty slotty. Kristoff told us uh, on the way down here that this slot canyon was named by someone who thought they were trapped and took a, a near life ending climb out of the canyon to escape its clutches. But it's not a very long slot canyon. It's only a mile in length, but it, it gets really tight. It will take a couple hours to do. I'm here with Matt, Kristoff, and Ethan. Anyway, we're gonna be rappelling down into Alcatraz and then just getting on our way. So in the past year to year and a half, I've dropped like a full pant size. So that still makes me the fat guy in the group. I'm just hoping I'm not that guy that gets all the blooper reel for getting stuck and then the search and rescue has to come grease me up with bacon lard. <laughs> Most of my canyoneering experience is just shivering, being really cold and uh, there's no sunlight. And for some reason, the, there's always a rattlesnake sitting right in the middle of the trail. I came in looking like a goon. Everybody else has got their Patagonia sweatpants on and black diamond. Got my old, my, my ball cap on, so I think we're good to go. We're walking along the rim to the start of Alcatraz because there were a lot of people right there at the beginning. I did this canyon about 10 years ago and didn't see a soul. And now there's three or four cars at the start. Good day. I've got to go first. If I'm saying it safe, it's safe good. just finished the rappel. It was fun. It would have been cool if we could have done it off the car. But uh, a lot of people here, we're just trying to get out of the way as quickly as possible. From here on out, things are gonna get very, very tight. But the slot canyon basically begins right after the rappel. So we're gonna just get into that. Hit our first hurdle. Look at this. Did someone bring an extra rope? I sure hope so. This has got to be the narrowest part because if you weigh over 175, you're not making it. I'm down to 170, man. We've gone through the easy part, and now I believe things are gonna be getting really tight and claustrophobic. So if you're a bigger fella, or you suffer from claustrophobia, or heaven forbid, a combination of both, you're going to want to avoid this section. Hey, you don't wanna step down there? Okay, I can see how you can get stuck in here. What the heck? Some people put their backpacks in front of them. Okay, just don't panic. Crazy thing, we're like 200 feet down in the slot canyon, so this foot slide. the point now where we've come so far down this canyon where we're pulling under headlamps. It's getting dark and it's getting cold. Now we're halfway and I'm sure we've all gotten the upper body workout we didn't ask for. But it's tight to say the least. I mean it's so tiny that 100 feet down it's almost completely dark. But we're inching along. Ruining backpacks, pants, shirts, camera gear, everything's being destroyed by this sandstone and muddy water.
this canyon has always got me thinking what's next because just for it, I think we've probably done the worst part. We haven't done the worst part. Fourth would have definitely got me stuck. We're just about finished with Alcatraz. Short but sweet, and by sweet I mean extremely challenging, especially for the upper body. It was a serious workout. I think all of us agree it was cold and it was difficult and it was dark, but overall pretty cool. Dude, that canyon chewed me up and spit me out. I feel like I was birthed four to five times. I'll give it a rating of uh, excellent to superior. I don't think my GoPro or my backpack um, actually made it through there. I think it just got shredded up by the rocks, but started clear over there behind those rocks. Slot Canyon goes all the way down through here. And then around this bend right here, we had to walk probably three and a half miles, four miles around here and then back up to the top. So it's definitely a workout. So I know Danny said it was gonna be skinny and narrow. I just didn't know it'd be that skinny and that narrow. I mean, we just went down some gnarly stuff and did some hard stuff. Alcatraz is unlike any other slot canyon I've ever been in. It's just so dark, so tight, and it just beats the living hell out of clothing and backpacks so if you're planning on coming down and doing Alcatraz, don't take anything you value, because it'll most likely be destroyed in this canyon.